Manipulation takes many forms. Are you tired of others pushing your buttons and coercing you to act against your best interests? Reclaim your personal power today. In this video, we'll explore how Stoic philosophy helps you resist manipulation and undue influence. Learn concrete strategies to spot tactics early, set firm boundaries, and immunize yourself against emotional control. Master these techniques to live freely, dictated by your values. You deserve self-determination. Stoicism will guide you there. Let's begin. Number 1. Learn to set strong boundaries and stand up for yourself. Learning to set strong personal boundaries and stand up for yourself is key to stopping manipulation by others. Don't be afraid to firmly say no if someone requests or demands something that goes against your principles or crosses a line for you. You have every right to decide what you will accept or reject from others. Start by identifying your core values and what requests you are and are not willing to accommodate. Where are your lines in the sand? What are the deal breakers that you will absolutely refuse? Know them well so you can recognize when they are crossed. When you first start setting boundaries, saying no can feel nerve-wracking. Start small if needed. Practice refusing minor everyday requests first to build your confidence. Over time, you will get more comfortable denying inappropriate demands. When you do say no, be direct and unambiguous. Calmly tell the person, I'm not willing to do that, or that doesn't work for me. Avoid vagueness or hesitation, which can invite manipulation. Be firm and stand your ground if they push back. Your self-respect must come first. With practice, you can get better at spotting and refusing manipulative requests. By deciding where your boundaries lie and being willing to defend them, you take back control. The ability to say no protects you from being manipulated by others. Number two, pay attention to any gut feelings or red flags. It's important to listen to your inner guidance system and pay close attention to any gut feelings or intuitive red flags that make you uncomfortable. Don't ignore those instincts. Often when someone is trying to manipulate us, we may feel an uneasy sense deep down that something isn't right. We may notice warning signs or behaviors from them that act as red flags. Don't rationalize away that inner voice or those signals. Make sure to tune in to any emotions of apprehension, anxiety or doubt. Slow down and get very still so you can become aware of these subtle instincts. Your body may be picking up on things your thinking mind isn't registering yet. Bring non-judgmental awareness to any tightness in your stomach, feelings of foreboding or alarm bells going off telling you to be careful. Dig deeper into why you feel unsettled. Is it because you sense hidden motives or a mismatch between words and actions? Are you picking up on breaches of your boundaries or violations of your values? Examine if anything feels manipulative or controlling. Make a habit of checking in with your intuition regularly to catch red flags early before a situation escalates. The earlier you can notice problems, the easier it is to avoid manipulation. Trust your inner wisdom. If someone sets off your alarm bells, be very cautious about engaging further. Your gut feelings exist to protect you. Don't ignore them. Number three, be wary of flattery. Beware of those who try to flatter and excessively compliment you, as this can be a manipulative tactic used to get what they want. Manipulators often shower targets with over-the-top praise and admiration. They may gush about how wonderful, talented, beautiful or brilliant you are. Or they may talk about how unique and special you are compared to others. This excessive flattery is often a technique to butter you up and lower your guard. By inflating your ego, they hope to make you compliant to their requests. As the compliments make you feel good, you become more trusting of their intentions. Take a step back when someone flatters you too much too soon. 
Ask yourself if this degree of praise aligns with reality or seems exaggerated. Be wary if it feels over the top. Also watch if their compliments are followed by requests of you. Real praise doesn't come with strings attached. Rather than basking in the flattery, stay centered in your core self-worth. You don't need endless external validation. Give more weight to sincere compliments from people who know you well. By seeing through excessive flattery, you can avoid being sweet-talked into agreements you'll later regret. Stay grounded and don't allow smooth manipulators to inflate your ego for their purposes. Trust your inner wisdom. If someone sets off your alarm bells, be very cautious about engaging further. Your gut feelings exist to protect you. Don't ignore them. Number four, avoid sharing too much personal information. It's wise to avoid sharing too much personal information too soon, as manipulators can exploit anything intimate you reveal. Keep some sense of mystery so you can't be used. Take your time opening up to new people. Don't over-disclose early on before trust and sincerity is established. Be careful about revealing vulnerabilities, fears, secrets or sensitive information. Even with close friends, share judiciously if they have ever violated confidences. Manipulators gathering intimate details about you, your desires, insecurities, past traumas, can use this insight to exploit your weaknesses or push your emotional buttons. Information is power. The less they know, the less they can use it against you. Keep parts of yourself private and guarded. You don't owe anyone full disclosure. If asked probing questions, deflect by giving vague or ambiguous answers. Change the topic back to them. By maintaining some mystery and not putting all your cards on the table, you avoid giving manipulators ammunition to manipulate you. A little discretion goes a long way in protecting yourself. Number five, don't automatically trust everything. Don't automatically trust everything someone tells you without verifying the facts. Manipulators often distort the truth or even lie outright to control narratives. Listen closely not just to what someone says, but also what they don't say. Watch for information they omit, avoid, or contradict. Check whether their words match their actions. When a story doesn't add up, dig deeper and ask probing questions. Do independent research to validate claims. Consult objective third-party sources to fact-check what you're being told. Beware of gaslighting or attempts to distort your perception of reality. Maintain critical thinking rather than credulously accepting all you hear. Pay attention to your gut reactions as well. Do you feel in your body that something is off or disingenuous? Don't ignore those instincts. The truth has a certain resonance. By taking stories with a grain of salt initially and double-checking sources, you give manipulators less room to maneuver. Insisting on facts and evidence protects you from just accepting whatever you are told at face value. Stay alert to half-truths and lies. Verify before trusting completely. Number six, notice if someone tries to isolate you from friends on family. Be very wary if someone tries to isolate you from friends, family members, or other important relationships. This is a huge red flag that manipulation may be occurring. Manipulators often try to cut off support so they can have you all to themselves. They may overtly or subtly discourage you from seeing certain people, especially those who express concern about the relationship. They may make jealous comments or otherwise convey disapproval of loved ones. Other isolation tactics can be gaslighting you against trusted people or turning relatives against each other. They may also monopolize your time and make you feel guilty for wanting to spend time with others. This slow erosion of outside relationships gives them more control. Pay close attention to any behaviors designed to undermine your other connections. Guard against growing alienation from people who have been staples in your life. You need a diversity of perspectives, so isolation should raise an alarm Stand firm 
that no healthy relationship requires cutting off other valued ties. Refuse to give up important friendships or reduce family contact for anyone. Blocking access to help is a sure sign of a manipulator. Maintaining strong bonds counters their influence. Number seven, don't let guilt or obligation keep you in a manipulative relationship. Be aware of guilt and obligation, which are tools manipulators use to keep you stuck in unhealthy relationships. Recognize that you don't owe them anything. You deserve to be free. Manipulators are skilled at playing the victim and making you feel guilty for not sufficiently catering to their demands. They portray basic boundaries as betrayal and will try to shame you for wanting time to yourself. Don't fall for it. They also invoke obligation by doing unsolicited favors and then expecting extensive reciprocity. You may feel trapped by a sense of duty, even when demands cross your boundaries. Remind yourself, true gifts don't come with a steep price. Know that you are not responsible for anyone else's emotions or well-being. You can compassionately care for others, but not at the total expense of yourself. You deserve joy and healthy connections just as much. If you feel guilty leaving a manipulative relationship, remember, sometimes the kindest thing is letting go. You have every right to remove yourself from toxicity. Protecting your dignity and emotional safety matters. Stay strong against emotional blackmail. Don't let fear, guilt or obligation keep you trapped. You owe your manipulators nothing. Choose freedom. Number eight, learn to spot gaslighting and other manipulation tactics. One of the best protections against manipulation is learning to recognize common tactics like gaslighting, guilt tripping, love bombing, and more. Educate yourself on how manipulators operate. Gaslighting, for example, aims to destabilize your perception of reality. A manipulator may outright deny previous conversations or events, making you second-guess your memory and sanity. Recognizing this tactic early prevents its insidious effects. Guilt-tripping involves inducing obligation by constantly making you feel ashamed for not meeting their demands. Love bombing, on the other hand, uses excessive flattery and praise to influence you. Learn to spot inconsistencies between words and actions. Notice if your feelings and reactions are being trivialized or belittled. Watch for veiled threats or attempts to erode your self-esteem. By understanding manipulation playbooks in depth, you can name tactics when you see them and realize you are being intentionally influenced. This insight protects you from being subconsciously controlled. Staying educated on the warning signs of emotional manipulation inoculates you against sophisticated mind games. Forewarned is forearmed. So read up on common techniques to sharpen your ability to recognize and deflect manipulation attempts. Number nine, don't bargain with manipulators or try to get even. When you realize you are being manipulated, avoid the temptation to bargain, reason with the manipulator, or try to get even. These strategies often backfire. The healthiest option is usually to create distance. Calling out a manipulator or fighting back often just makes them escalate their tactics. They may gaslight you more strongly or even retaliate. Since they don't play by rules of fairness, you won't get a satisfying resolution. Trying to convince them to see your side is also pointless. Manipulators have their agenda and won't be reasoned out of it. Negotiating or arguing your case is unlikely to produce change. Likewise, schemes to manipulate them back or punish them will probably increase dysfunction. Sinking to their level is counterproductive and unethical. The best way to stop manipulation is not engaging it further. Keep interactions to a minimum or cut contact altogether if needed. Physically remove yourself from their orbit. Offer them no ammunition against you. Your power lies in disengaging on your terms. Don't try to fight or control them. Simply withdraw your time and attention. 
Protect your peace of mind and emotional space. Stay strong and keep distance. Don't get entangled in futile skirmishes with manipulators. Walk away with dignity intact. Number 10. Value your self-worth. Cultivating a sense of self-worth and personal value is critical to rejecting manipulation. When you know your own dignity, you won't tolerate mistreatment. Reflect on your core principles and what you know deep down is acceptable behavior towards you. Develop minimum standards for how others are allowed to act in your life. Defend these standards. Don't make exceptions for manipulators that you wouldn't make for anyone else. Remind yourself regularly that you deserve reciprocated care and respect, just like all human beings. Strong self-esteem comes from within and cannot be bestowed by others. Nurture it by noticing your positive qualities and practicing self-validation rather than looking externally. Know you have worth outside of what any manipulator tries to make you believe about yourself. Their devaluation is about their dysfunction, not your real character. Choose to surround yourself with people who celebrate your strengths and accept your flaws with compassion. Leave behind those who chip away at your self-esteem. Make your inner light so strong that you instantly reject anyone trying to dim it. Your sense of dignity is the greatest defense against manipulation. Value who you are. And those are 10 powerful stoic strategies to stop manipulation and take back control of your life. By setting boundaries, trusting your intuition, and not bargaining with manipulators, you can regain your personal authority. Remember that virtue lies within you, not what others try to make you believe. Focus on living by your principles. As Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius said, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Don't let anyone disturb your inner peace. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and hit the bell to get more Stoic wisdom and practices. Also share this video with someone you think would benefit from learning how to resist manipulation. Together we can spread the empowerment. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and hope you feel equipped to immunize yourself against control and coercion. You have the inner strength, wishing you clarity, self-knowledge and freedom from undue influence. Until next time, may you all find peace and serenity in the Stoic ways.